Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy, with me, your baddest host, Miss Ben. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well. Concerning the giveaway, we are ending the first phase, and winners will be announced later this week. Make sure you stay very much active on our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Winners will be announced there. With all that said, it is time for us to dive straight into the first segment of this program. Guys, go nowhere. I'll be right back, and I have a lot in store for you. More on Biggie updates, guys. Four Biggie flatmates expressed their jealousy towards Fitch during a meeting the plan to overthrow him two days ago. Noni White, Clemento, Henson, and Queen Mother held a meeting on how they could work together as a team to make sure Fitch doesn't win season two of this reality show. According to these disgruntled flatmates, the competition is unfair with Fish's presence in the house because he was already a very popular artist before entering the house and it's even more popular now as compared to them who are basically no names to the public which uh, makes it quite impossible for them to compete with a celebrity like Fish in the house. So, in their secret meeting, these flatmates concluded by saying that if Fish wins the competition, they will riot. Wow. So far, I see Fish not doing something extra which will warrant such envy from his fellow flatmates. Come on, if Fish is getting all the love and support coming his way, it's because he has understood the rules of the game and is playing it right. It's true that Fish had a name before entering the competition, but his behavior so far has been earning him all the positive vibes coming his way. So I'll call on each flatmate to strategize very well rather than wasting time on planning something that which might never happen. We have crossed the borders to work as one to build and promote the African theme industry. We have done just that and will keep doing more. If it offends you, take a cold bottle of beer and sleep. Says Nollywood actor Aiko Bona as he claps back after Cameroonian actor Alain Menge criticized young actors for treating foreign actors better than them, local actors. Alain Menge, in one of his recent posts, did not hide his disappointment at young Cameroonian actors who accord more value, honor, and respect to foreign artists and ignoring them who already have big names in the Cameroon film industry. This is actually how he made it. You make us local actors look inferior. You move to a set, you see all upcoming cast, a crew, taking a secret move just to appear to get a picture with the foreign actor. This comes after our fast growing theme industry recently welcomed top Nollywood actors like Kanayo Kanayo, Kem Owo, popularly known as Ukwa, who were giving lead roles in some upcoming Cameroonian movies to the detriment of our local talented actors. Come on, guys, is there really need for all this? Should we feel intimidated by Nollywood actors staring in our movies just to make them more prominent? Aren't we supposed to see this as the growth of the African theme industry in general? I mean, will reactions be the same if we had American actors on set? Imagine someone like Will Smith, Idris Elba, or Angelina Jolie on the set of a Cameroonian movie. Will our local actors still be saying what they are saying right now? Will they? Let me know in the comment section, guys. On the other hand, CY International and relationship coach expert Daily Singer have been fighting on social media on which film industry is bigger than the other. For CY International, the Cameroon film industry is already established and has nothing to envy from that of Nigeria. This is what he said. Do we keep learning from Nigeria after having best actor in Africa, that's Alain Menge? Do we keep learning from Nigeria after having one of the most trending African movies on Netflix, that's Fisherman's Diary, with the highest award since 2019 by Kan Kintus? Do we keep learning from Nigeria after having the first ever renowned movie actor from Africa, that's Alphonse Benny? Movie titled Ninja Black Star. Nigeria no will ever finish our mob. So Daily Singer responded saying, and let me quote it for you guys. Can we at least agree Nigerians are ahead and regardless of how much talent we have, their position is indisputable. They have paid their dues, paved the way, and all we need is to humbly agree to this and learn. Do you agree with this guys? Do you think Cameroon is better than Nigeria in entertainment? 
Kamen's first daughter Brenda Bia drags US-based Cameroonian artist Densha and calls her a drug dealer. When we are told both celebrities have finally buried their grudges against each other after their viral online fight a few months ago, Brenda Bia in a series of Snapchat status revealed that Densha is a drug dealer and that her money does not come from her supposed fake fame life. This is what she said. We know you don't get the money from fame. You're not famous in the States, not famous in Cameroon. Your cosmetic line is trash. You feel horrible in your skin because you look like trash. And you're white as the cook you've been selling to keep up that lifestyle. You clearly can't keep up. To further argument this, she said, if Densha tries her, she won't win in any case, anywhere, because her father, who is the president of this country, has connections all over the world. This is what she said. So me, when you send me those papers, I will make sure I bury you alive in your own bullshit. Try me think the U.S. is going to rally up with you. I got diplomatic immunity. How bad can? And my dad has contacts in all these places. It's the president. Guys, aside from this, Brenda Bia has been trending on social media after an alleged baby boom photo of her surfaced online. The celebrity daughter is seen on this photo like someone who is already a few months gone with her pregnancy. And my question to you guys, what if it is actually true that Brenda Bia is pregnant? It shocked you or you are not surprised at all? Okay guys, let's elevate the ambience with this beautiful celebration from the intermittable lionesses of Cameroon after the one two goals to zero against the Central African Republic in the women's AFCOM qualifiers. Watch and enjoy guys. <laughs> them the best for their upcoming encounters and our men are not doing bad either. Welcome on our international show visit guys. Nigerian artist Tiwa Savage is reported to have allegedly lost four endorsement deals after her sex tape scandal. The beautiful song Stress recently saw a sex tape of her been published by an unknown blackmailer. So ever since it happened, the singer has been dragged and called all sorts of names. The recent backlash against the artist is an alleged information of her losing four of her endorsement deals since companies who signed her have withdrawn their endorsement deals from her as they say they cannot associate with someone in such a scandal. She's reported to have lost deals with Cadbury, which is a beverage company, Pampas, which is a diaper company, Glow Network, and one other, just because of a sex tape. So far, a lot of celebrities have been showing her love and support. And my question to you guys is, does all this surrounding Tiwa Savage affect your love for her? That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much, guys, for still watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. The giveaway continues, and I'll be announcing winners pretty soon. So make sure you identify the celebrity that's on the card and drop the person's name in the comment section. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Welcome back guys, opening our playlist this episode is this melodious song in my heart from the beautiful Yolanda featuring the greatest Tissi Panchak, watch and enjoy. No replay, matter for her to, in any season, you are the reason why. Popping up at the ninth position is this brand new collabo song, Tissi featuring the Faka and Jesco. Popping up at the eighth position is Master Robinson with this brand new release titled Petit Tonton. Joy Force featuring Pandita comes up at the seventh position with Beautiful. Beautiful, I've never seen a man like you. 
I've never seen a man. As Samo featuring Stanley Enno with this brand new release titled Magic Takes the Sixth Position. Magic, give me some of the magic. Money, give me some of the money. Ah. Honey, baby, give me that honey. Ah. DJ, give me the bitch. Popping up at the fifth position is Tizzy Panchak with his brand new release single titled Last Last. I don't look like what I've been through. And they look me the end. Motobanga comes up at the fourth position with For You. Kamini comes up at the third position with Them. I don't suffer for this life, mon frère, I swear them no no. Anyhow you see me today, don't judge, I swear you know. Dania from Ben Nutina comes up at the second position. Tapping our playlist this episode is this beautiful brand new release collabo song titled Montu from Cameroonian artist Oken featuring Ivorian artist Suspect95. Watch and enjoy. Okay guys, that's all we have for our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week and this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy. I was here to serve it extra hot for you. Call me Miss Bang. I'll be right back next week with so much more and for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, follow us. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. It's 237 Showbiz. Cameroon's number one entertainment media we are very much active on our website too please make sure you're part of us on telegram it's 237 showbiz follow our new division 237 showbiz studios i'll be announcing winners of the giveaway pretty soon see you guys next week thanks so much do have a great weekend eh i should wait